Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Friday, June 2nd, 2017. Happy Friday, and let's talk about crystals. I made some crystals last night by saturating a solution with potassium hydrogen phthalate and then allowing that to evaporate overnight while I watch with a time lapse video. The results are here, and I like how they look. You can see the crystals forming the nice hexagonal shapes. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong dye to try to incorporate into these crystals. I chose to use uh, bromophenol blue, which is shown here. And you can see it's not really a flat planar molecule. And that's unfortunate because phthalate, the substance of the crystal, is a flat molecule. You can see that here. And so I should have picked a more flat dye to sort of incorporate between the layers of that flat crystal substance. So bad call on my part. I sort of meant to pick methylene blue, which looks like this. Uh, that would have been a better choice. We'll try that this weekend, maybe try a couple other dyes as well, and hopefully we can have some dyed crystal videos for you on Monday. So that's kind of a little fun side project, just trying to make something pretty. But in the meantime, uh, while we're doing that, we're going to be going through a couple iterations of the battery. Uh, the latest version made one little tweak and packed the uh, cathode side with just graphite powder to try to encourage one the conductivity and two the adsorption of the iron two that is generated at the cathode. Let's see if that seems to help maybe boosted voltage a little bit uh, by reducing the internal resistance or by uh, absorbing that iron two. I'm really not sure we'll find out eventually but uh, yeah that seemed to give us a little better capacity I've measured out the capacity to be about 50 milliwatt hours per liter it's not impressive so that's nowhere near the kind of capacity you get from a standard disposable alkaline battery or a lithium battery but it's a start and I'm sure I can improve it if I remove a lot of the water minimize the amount of iron so that it's balanced with the amount of iron salt in the cathode and just shrink the whole thing down as much as possible. Uh, in, in that case, I'm, I'm hopeful to get up by an order of magnitude, maybe two, but anything in there is starting to look like a, something that might actually be useful. So a typical American home uses something like 24 kilowatt hours per day, which means that if you wanted to go off grid, hypothetically, you would want to have something like 12 to 16 kilowatt hour capacity. Now, you can reduce that need by just being really efficient, going all LED light bulbs, not using electricity for heat, passive solar heating, that kind of thing. Um, and that could get your need down to be more like five or 10 kilowatt hours of storage. Now, five or 10 kilowatt hours of storage, under these <laughs> energy density conditions, you're still looking at a, a battery as big as your house. So that's not gonna work. But you know, a couple orders of magnitude of improvement and it's going to start looking like sort of something that would fit in the bed of a truck. And that's that's starting to be more reasonable. Tune in on Monday. We'll talk more about crystal growth, have some pretty dyed crystals, and we'll talk more about DIY battery optimization here in the Allen Lab.